Welcome to Dare to Leap, a conversation and community supporting women just like you to gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve with CEO and founder of Virtual Expert Training, Kathy Guggenauer. This is Dare to Leap, and now here's the powerhouse tiara-wearing Kathy Guggenauer. Listeners, I am so happy to bring you my very special guest today. Her name is Eva Harster, and she is amazing. Um, Since she was young, Eva had her sights set on being president in a corporate office on the top floor with windows and a view of the city. She's going to be telling you a little bit about that journey. And with a thankful heart, she was led down a different path and is now president, she achieved her goal, of her own virtual services business. It's called More Time to Profit, LLC. She now enjoys a tree-lined park-like view of her rural home in Missouri and happily shares her office with her cat, who you probably are going to get to see. She'll probably make a cameo appearance um, <laughs> if you want to go to YouTube so you can see Eva and I in Eva's uh, fun office and her cat, feel free to do that. So in Eva's journey, she went from what's WordPress <laughs> to building a virtual business, developing and maintaining WordPress websites. And because of her passion for shopping, she focuses on helping small businesses, boutiques, and retailers take their business to the next level with e-commerce. Welcome, Eva. Thank you, Kathy. It's fun to be here. So excited. So excited to have you here today. Full disclosure, Eva and I work together. We have worked together for years. I have been to her beautiful uh, home. Um, She lives about an hour from me, which is close to me. I'm an hour from everything. And when she (laughs) describes it as park-like, it is genuinely park-like. How many acres do you have to mow, Eva? Five. Five acres. acres You guys, five acres that she mows. It's okay. I just put in my iPod. Yes, I use an iPod. And just I love an iPod. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, Eva, um, I would love for you to take us back in time and tell us about your journey from where you wanted to be the president of a corporation to where to how did you become the president of your own business? Hmm. Okay. You know, I was thinking about this and I remember when I was little, I used to tell my mom, if I ever get married, I'm wearing blue jeans. Now, I don't know where that came from, but I remember saying that. So whatever made me be possessed to to think that I would want to be president of a corporation, you know, and wear a business suit, hose and heels, I'm not sure where that transition happened, but it did. Um, So even, you know, even from high school, um, you know, we got extra credit in the business classes if we wore hose and heels and a skirt. And I always did that, you know, like once a week, I got that extra credit for doing that. Um, and it's just, wow. Where did you go? Where did you go to high school that you had that? That is Um, so interesting. Small town, Illinois. Oh, okay. That is so interesting. I love, I kind of love it though. Yeah. And I even got top business student. (laughs) So yeah, Yeah, we're going to talk about some of the awards you have won throughout the years. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you know, that was kind of, it was one of those things where you're going to be a teacher, you know, a secretary or a nurse. You know, um, I, I just didn't realize there were other things out there. So my sights were set on business. Um, so, you know, you didn't want to be a nurse. You know, no, I didn't. Me neither. My best friend became a nurse and I had done everything that she did until she decided to become a nurse. And I really thought about it because I wanted to do everything with my best friend from high school. And then she became a nurse and I was like, I don't do blood. Yeah, no, I don't know what, well, I do know now what I want to be when I grow up, but I didn't then, and a nurse was not one of, and a teacher was not one of them, Um, so led me down the business path, so, um, you know, so I went, I went all the way, you know, I'm, I'm, even my, 
even my blood type is a positive. <laughs> so needless to say, you know, if I didn't wow. have an A plus. You are truly a type A, even oh, your know, blood type. That is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's a curse and a, and a blessing all in the same thing. Um, so, you know, I went through the whole thing. I, I moved to St. Louis, um, which was big time, you know, coming from small town, Illinois and, um, went through my bachelor, um, went through my master's, got a master's in business. And while I was having, uh, going through my classes and, um, for my master's, I met up with the president of a large corporation here in St. Louis. And she said, you got to come work for me. And I, and I did. And that was like my, that was my end to a, a corporate world. I hated it. <laughs> Uh-oh, what I, did you I not like about it? It. It, it was, you know, it's one of those things where you have these ideologies of what's going to happen and how it's going to be. And it was nothing like that. Um, and needless to say, um, my position was cut and I was, you know, they took my phone, my computer, everything. And I walked out on a Thursday afternoon, bawling my head off going, I don't know where I'm at now. I don't know what to do now. Um, which wow. I'm sure a lot how of people many years, get. How many years had you worked there? Oh, I want to say maybe four. Oh, okay. Four years. And yeah. And um, what did you do? What was your, um, well, I started job? out, I started out in a corporate accounts position, which I knew nothing about, you know, it's one of those positions where you need to build into the company and work your way up to understand it. So I knew nothing. It was, it was not a good situation. So we, I, I, I got um, switched over into marketing, which was a great thing because then I did, um, the national trade shows, which, you know, I was all on top of that, the organization and, you know, and yeah. got to travel a little, little bit. Right. And, um, it was great. I met my husband. So I lost my job, got my husband. Um, I'll take that trade. <laughs> That's um, a good trade. That's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It was a good trade. Um, so then it was a matter of what do I do? And so my husband and I actually started a business. Um, went through the whole real estate thing. I had my own brokerage. We had an um, investment company. And of course, like everybody else, 2008 hit, dive bomb, <laughs> lost everything. Then it's a matter of, oh my gosh, I got to get a job. And then um, fortunately, my stepdaughter became pregnant with quadruplets. And um, unfortunately, we did lose one in the NICU. However, the other three babies were born and needed a caregiver. And so I babysat them. Now, mind you, I have a magnet on my refrigerator that says cats, not kids. <laughs> so, so my first diaper change was pretty much for my granddaughters. Uh, and I babysat those three girls until they went to first grade. Wow. Then I'm back to, I got to find a job. Um, and unfortunately, and fortunately, my mother-in-law fell and broke her hip. So they're going to either, the family's going to pay somebody else or they could pay me to care for, for my mother-in-law. And she's not your typical mother-in-law. She's a saint. I loved spending that time with her. Um, we had so much fun. She was my buddy, you know? Um, and she, she had a stroke and died four years later. I'm back to getting a job. <laughs> so in the meantime, I, um, I'm talking to a friend and, and I say, there's gotta be something that I can do from home, right? Some kind of computer work that I can do for a small business. I didn't even know what a VA was. I'd never heard that term. So I wasn't even looking for it, you know? Um, and she, she says, hang on. And she had met somebody um, in your program at a networking event in St. Louis. So she gave me her card and I'm like, this is it. So I literally sped home, like drove fast home. Um, and I get on the, I get on my email and I, I email Joyce and I say, you know, and I say, I got my, I got your card, da, 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 I'd love to work for you, for you. Here's my resume. And so she pretty immediately emails me back and says, do you have time to jump on the phone? And I'm, you know, I'm like, of course I'm available right now. You know, I was overly available. Um, and so we get on the phone and she says, well, that's not quite how this works. Um, what I do is I, you know, this program teaches you how to build your own business. And I was like, oh, okay, well, tell me about that. So it sounded great and it just so happened to be on a Friday and that following Monday was a five day challenge. And this was the five day, one hour a day challenge. Yeah. So I got on that um, and I knew before the end of the week that this was where I wanted to be. 
I mean, it was like, this what is was it. it that made you think this is it. What was it during that it five day challenge that made you think I this wanted. is it? It was that it was teaching me how to build a business to sit right here and do work for companies on my computer. Like, like I envisioned, um, and of course, I loved you, of course. Um, and we hit it off. I think we're kind of separated. At yeah, because I'm crazy <laughs> like you are. We're, we're both crazy. We're crazy women that we love life. We just have fun. Yes. Um, so yeah, so by the end of the week, I knew I had to do it. I didn't know how I was going to make it happen. I made it happen and I've not looked back. Um, you know, and, and for anybody that's in the team or looking at coming onto the team, into the training, Trust me, I spent six months spinning my wheels and I was my own worst enemy and my husband would come home and I just, I'd just be like, I'm having a meltdown and crying and <laughs> because I had to be perfect at everything. And once I got over that perfection, like just do it, you know, nobody's going to die from this. It took a long time to get that through my head. My blonde head was going, uh-uh, I got to be perfect. <laughs> I got to get a straight A. And um, you, things just started happening. And I remember you, I remember you telling me, remember, because I, I after, after I let that go, I started getting jobs. I got, I started getting work and, and I had so much work I couldn't have taken on anymore. And I remember you saying to me, remember when you told me, I can't, you know, I can't wait till I get to that point. And I said, yeah, I do remember saying that. And you said, welcome to success. And I remember that conversation. I was like, whoa, yeah. I'm successful. Yeah. You're, <laughs> I said, your biggest challenge is not going to be getting clients. Your biggest challenge is going to be, you're going to have so many clients. You're going to be overwhelmed and like, what do I do now? I have yeah. I've too many clients. Yeah. And that's such and, a good problem. And you have. do. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's yeah, awesome. It, it is. And, and so I've just, you know, I've totally grown from there and, um, um, gone through a few niches, you know, trying to figure out where my happy place is, um, leads us to February 29th of 2020. Okay. So it was literally a year, right a leap year, before COVID leap year wedding. I was out of town Ooh. for a leap year wedding and, um, stopped in this cute little shop. And it's one of those little boutiques that you like, I wanted everything in there to be in my house. So it was just my friend and I and the, the man behind the register, young guy. And, you know, we're talking to him. And so I go to pay because I was going to buy something and I didn't have my card, my credit card. And I'm like, okay, don't panic. <laughs> I, I know I have it. I did, you know, it's got to be here. So I whip out a business card and I start talking to him about the business. You know, who does your social media? Do you have a website? Do you have an online store? I live out of town. I'd love to shop, you know, from home. Um, who does, you know, everything, your marketing, all that stuff. So we got to talk in business. So then of course I wrote it off with my business card as a, <laughs> as a business expense. Yes. So that you had well. a business meeting. Yes, I did. Um, and I said, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about, you know, taking your business, you know, getting an online store, um, you know, maybe helping you with social media, stuff like that. So needless to say, what happens? COVID hits, right? So um, by that was February. So by March, they had called me and we had a contract to redo their entire website and add on an online store. And it was so fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I, it was, it was almost like, why didn't I think of that? What do you love the most? I love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it just, it was such a good segue to go into e-commerce, you know, to help small businesses like that, take their business online because they had to shut their door and, yeah. and that, you know, it, nothing was, nothing was moving. No products were moving, no income coming in. So, um, yeah. so it worked out really well. And that's when I decided to, you know, go full force with, with e-commerce. Yeah. And so you work with uh, small businesses, small, medium-sized businesses who are already online and those who want to get online, right? right. You'll, you'll work with somebody who's not online yet or somebody who's already online and needs more help to, exactly. so, because I mean, I mean, I read something, Kathy, they like, all need help. Yeah, exactly. Like 74% of um, small business websites don't have any kind of e-commerce. I mean, that that's just missed opportunity. That's huge. 74%. No oh, joke. 
74% yeah. need e-commerce because yeah, they could be making money off of that. Ab- absolutely. Making I mean, sales reach- while they sleep. Exactly. You can reach while anybody at any time. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty incredible. The, st- st- the statistics. Um, and another thing I read, let me make sure I get this right. By 2024, Worldwide retail e-commerce sales will hit 6.4 trillion. Trillion. Wow, trillion. That's huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Online shopping is like the it's it's the new shopping and 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 especially mobile shopping. Oh yeah. So you know, knowing that, and making sure that the, that your online site is mobile friendly. You know, all those little things that you know retailers don't think about this stuff. They don't want to. They want to sell their goods. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's where we come mm-hmm. in. That's right. Yeah. And you can help them sell all of that online, help their website look fabulous, make sure it looks great on mobile. And you're right, Eva. I mean, now even um, Facebook has mm-hmm. mobile, I think they're calling it mobile first. Do you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that, that what it is? Right. Like, yeah. So, you know, make sure because that's where people are shopping now. Even I, I don't, I didn't even have a cell phone four years ago and I find myself shopping on my phone. And when I'm doing it, I'm like, what am I doing? I could get on my laptop or my iPad. And I'm like, yeah, it's just handy. Yeah. Mobile has surpassed (laughs) desktop and shopping. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, it's not going to go. So that's awesome that that's, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to continue to grow because, you know, shopping centers are shutting down like crazy. Yeah. Um, and that that trend had already started before COVID. And um, I'm sure what you're also seeing, because um, now that people are used to shopping online, they want to keep doing it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's, it's um, all about the customer experience, you know, as yeah. step by step getting that looker to a shopper. And, and <laughs> it's... It's funny how things circle around. I used to think it was so creepy when I would be like shopping for something like say, say I was looking at swimsuits and then all of a sudden my husband would come up and say, are you shopping for swimsuits? Because it's, the ads start hitting our phones. And I thought, Ooh, who's watching? <laughs> That's that, so creepy. That is no, wild. I'm not shopping at all. Um, and now, but now that I know the process of, you know, how it works behind the scenes, you know, the, the tagging emails and, you know, the categories and just the things that happen behind the scene, it's not so creepy. It's just the company trying to t- take you from a looker to a buyer, you know, and that, that's, that's, that's right. not creepy. That's just business. So it, it's customer service. Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it now when, when I've decided not to buy something and those same shoes keep popping up everywhere I go, <laughs> I happen to tell you that sometimes I change my mind and go buy it. So they're very smart marketers the way they do that. But you have to know what you know now in uh-huh. order to make all that kind of stuff work. So Eva, I just want you to remember when you first started and you're like, I don't know anything tech. I don't know anything. How am I ever going to learn this? And do you, did you just hear all those techie words and all the marketing words coming out of your mouth? Because you do know this now. (laughs) Who am I? What have I done to myself? Um, You're amazing. You're brilliant. You're super smart. Just like you always knew you you were. And you're the president of a company now. I know. I know. My dream come true, right? And I don't have to wear hose and heels. I commute across the hall in my jammies to go to work. Yeah. And I can't, I can't beat that. And, um, that's right. And that's not going away either. You know, I'm sorry for the, 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 um, commercial real estate industry, (laughs) but businesses are finding out they don't have to have that brick and mortar, you know? That's right. So it's because um, working, working with people virtually, they were forced into it with COVID and then they went, Oh, this does work. Oh, we can save money. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when, um, a small business owner who has, you know, something they want to sell or a lot of things they want to sell or an idea of something they want to sell, um, when they're thinking, well, what all could Eva and her company do for me? Could you talk just a little bit about that, about all the different things that you can do for people? Sure. Um, well, one, have a website, um, two, have an e-commerce store, 
Um, so just managing that store in itself, um, you know, is, is it's time consuming for, for a retailer to do that. You know, you think about, yeah. you go online to, and you see all these products, but you don't think about the fact that somebody had to put them in there and they don't just pop, populate themselves. You know, somebody had to do that. Um, yeah. So and nobody you, knows how time consuming that can be. <laughs> Exactly. And, and until you, know, you start doing it. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I really want to help the, you know, the small mom and pop shops so that they don't get lost in this shuffle. You know, if, if you don't have an online presence, you're, you're doomed, you know, you've got to have an online presence um, and having an online, not just a website, but an online store and then having the social media marketing as well to go along with that. You know, just because and do you're you do the social media mean, marketing too, if somebody wants that. Absolutely. Done also, do you yeah, do that too? people with that, sure. Yeah, um, yeah and um, and I think that retailers don't realize um, the sales that they're missing by not having a store. You know, um, and it's it's incredible by not having an online store. Exactly, an online store. Absolutely, and and yeah. the fact that you know, just like I mean, let's your- let's just take my let's just take my tiara for example. Exactly. Um, I can't tell you how many towers I buy and none of them from an import person store. It's all from online stores. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. So I if mean, somebody doesn't have an online store, they just have an in-person store. They're missing me buying tiaras and all the other people because <laughs> somebody that's exactly. not into tiaras might be going, there's a big sale of tiaras. <laughs> yes, there are big sale of tiaras. <laughs> Exactly. Especially and other that, jewelry well, that, that our, kind of that our virtual expert team is growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TRs are kind of our thing. Exactly. Um, but like this one, I bought this from an, an e-commerce retailer and it's Beautiful. all handmade. And I go back and look at least once a week to see what they've got that's new. Yeah. And and even even small like ju- people who make jewelry, you know, that kind of thing. That's oh yeah you know, that's unique, one of a kind type gifts that, that people are looking for. They don't want the mass produced, you know, everybody else has it. They want that unique thing and to be able to sit right here and find it and order it and have it delivered and, you know, even gift wrapped and boxed and, you know, everything it's whatever you want to customize your business to do. If I can order something and have it a gift shipped to somebody else, oh, I'm, I'm in heaven because I oh, don't yeah. want to have it shipped to me and then me have to package it and ship it. And I don't want to have to go buy it at a store and then me have to package it and ship it. I just want that store to do all of that. Exactly. So you can set all that up for the store also. Absolutely. And, you know, even, even um, pick up at store, you know, that's huge these days now, curbside, yeah. curbside pickup, you know, all those things right. are possible for any of these, these, um, these small retailers. Yeah. So oh. if some, like, um, I was just on a call with uh, one of our other colleagues, Lori, and I, and I saw a new uh, thing in her background and I'm like, where'd you get that? Did you have that shipped? And she goes, oh no, they wanted to charge me almost $200 to ship that. I did. I ordered it online and then went and picked it up at just yeah. the curbside and saved myself 200 bucks. So, yeah. 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 And, you know, hopefully that's going to, that's going to go away eventually. Um, you know, the, the whole dis- social distancing. But right. The, the social that distancing part, but the, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't ever want that convenience to go away. No, And anyway. I don't think it will. Customers no. want it too much. No. Yeah. I, exactly. Like if I never have to set foot in another Walmart, I'll be happy <laughs> just because, <laughs> You know, you can order everything online and, and drive in to their parking yeah. lot and have and them put it in your, in your car. car. Mm-hmm. That's right. And yeah, I and, love and, that. No, yeah. And the more, the more this is growing, the more customers are expecting a better and better experience. You know, so companies have got to be on top of this. And, and if they okay. don't, they're, they're not going to survive, let alone thrive in this, in this yeah, new, that's right. not really normal ever, but new way of yeah. doing. It. I mean, just like our swag we have on right now, we both have on mm-hmm. our virtual expert swag. Yep. Um, all of that I order online, all of it. And it is all shipped to the other people who place orders for it all around the U S and Canada. Yeah. yeah. And I do nothing other than um, let the people know who are going to print all of it, mm-hmm. what I want to offer in their store for my group. 
And that's yeah. all e-commerce and all done yeah. automatically. And there's even drop shipping. You know, you don't even have to have the the products on, you know, on hand. They can be drop shipped. So yeah. the um it's kind of it's kind of ironic, I think, the the very first store that got me into e-commerce, the little boutique that I went to that I wanted everything in there to be at my house. Um February 29th, right before of 2020, right before COVID hit. This is this is one of the things I got. <laughs> Text if it you says run out text of TP. if you run out of TP. I love it. <laughs> and that was before COVID that you that was that. before COVID hit. Who knew? That, it was oh a, my God. That it was a that's sign of freaky. things to come. <laughs> that is almost freaky. I know. But that's a perfect example of something <laughs> that you would totally buy, even from an online store. I can tell you I've bought stuff from oh, like it's, that it's, from a, an oh, it's funny. Too. It's funny. Yeah, it is. It is. Or that you'd have shipped to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So is there any part of e-commerce that you don't do that you're like, yeah, that piece um, I don't do? Or pretty much can somebody, can a business just call you and or, you know, go to your website and email you um, and say, hey, I need help. Well, you tell me, what's the process? If somebody's like, I, I think I need help from Eva. Okay. So, well, email me, of course, at Eva at moretimetoprofit.com. Um, website is currently under construction, redoing it, um, but that's um, moretimetoprofit.com. Um, of course, I'm on LinkedIn. And by the time this airs, it'll your your website will be up. Okay, cool. Yeah, good. That's that's a good point. Um, <laughs> moretimetoprofit.com, and we'll have that link in the uh, show notes. Yeah, and and that's you know that's exactly what we're looking to do is you know give these retailers more time to focus on their clients and customers and building their business and you know let taking that time consuming necessary e-commerce step um, and handling it for them. Uh, I, I prefer WooCommerce, which is associated with WordPress websites, of course. Um, you know, there's also Shopify. There, there are many ways that, you know, that you can have an online store and they don't have to be expensive, um, you know, to set it up right. and maintain it. Um, but right. they do need to be maintained. You know, you can't have clients yeah. Oh yeah. Customers going there and ordering things that you don't have in stock anymore. Um, you know, right. if you want to have sales to move things that, you know, you've got an abundance of, you know, somebody has to get in there and do that kind of stuff. And, and um, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I enjoy doing. So um, if anybody's listening and they don't know what WordPress is or what WooCommerce is, that's okay. Cause Eva knows. I didn't either. And <laughs> I didn't either. Three years ago. And I was too afraid yeah. to go, what's WordPress? And then I read about it and I went, I still don't know what the hell I'm reading. So yeah. yeah and, and, yeah. and things have evolved and here I am. So. And as a business owner, um, you shouldn't have to learn that kind of stuff because what you should focus on is running your business, doing what you love and yeah. let somebody else learn that tech or do that tech. Eva already knows it. Um, and it will, unless you love tech, it will a take you a long time to figure it out and b yeah. the time you will lose. You could be making that money. How do I know? Because I am not techie. I don't ever want to be techie. I hire all of my stuff done. And believe me when I tell you, I make a lot more money in my business by having other people do the work that I am not good at exactly. than I ever would by, by trying to save money doing it myself. Because the reality is that money I try to save, uh -huh. I would actually be spending trying to get somebody to fix the mess that I made. Exactly. You know, um, th those retailers need to stay behind their cash register, you know, and let it, let us be behind the scenes of, of their website and their, their online store. And Eva, you're incredibly creative as anybody that's looking at the YouTube channel can see, because, you know, you've got a lot of creative stuff behind you. So not only are you good at doing the tech work, but you're also really good at helping people market because you're incredibly creative and can help them come up with some yeah, yeah. Really great um, stuff to you know, putting with. together business cards and flyers and, you know, even just a sign to put at the register, you know, um, coming up with, um, you know, coupons that, that you can hand out to clients and just anything you've got to get your name out there. And yeah, I, mean, I can give, coupons I can give to clients. Use on, 
coupons to okay. use on social media. Yeah, yeah. You've got to get out <laughs> to there. To get people buying online. People find you. you know, it's, it's, um, yeah. I've just learned so much about how this all works. It's, it's really, it's really interesting. And, uh, and I really yeah. want to help small businesses survive this. Um, Cause it just breaks my heart. You know, I'm from small town, Illinois and, you know, and, and I do a little traveling kind of semi-local in the state and I see all these small towns and everything's just boarded up and, and it doesn't have to be that way. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah. And even the other thing that I was thinking about while you were talking about this is, you know, there's a lot of people, whether they have a corporate job or they have a business that's not really focused on selling like mm -hmm. um, e-commerce kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but they have this desire. And I know there are a lot of people that have this, they have this desire. They're like, I make really great jewelry or I make really great soap or I make really mm -hmm. great fill in the blank. Or I love little things like that sign you showed. And I want to uh -huh. be the procurer of those and mm -hmm. sell those. Mm -hmm. um, they could do that as a side hustle with your assistance That's because neat. all those things that are going to take a long time, you can do for them while they continue to work their primary job and build this side business on, you know, that, yeah. that you can help them run. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be really exciting. I think there's a lot of people out there who would really like to do something creative like that as a side hustle, but yeah. they don't know how to sell stuff. Yeah. Could you help them price things too? Sure. If they didn't know absolutely. how to price stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think you'd be really I think you could really help them price things because yeah, you're a buyer. Shopper. Yeah, I'm a buyer. <laughs> you know what you want to pay for. Stuff. So, you know, no, I won't pay $20 for that, but I'll pay $14.99, you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, I will tell you that I am very, uh, going back to my tiaras, I have been very pleasantly surprised at how reasonably priced they are. But the more I look at them and the more I want them, the more I'm willing to pay more and more for them. Because <laughs> now I know what the really pretty ones are yeah. like. And that's your, um, that's your experience, the, the, you know, that's your customer experience. That's that right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, I will tell you, I'm on, uh, anytime I have some downtime, like I'm already thinking about this weekend, I haven't shopped for tiaras for a while. I'll probably be getting online and going tiaras and then just looking at any store I can find that has tiaras. Yeah. Because there, more and more, there are people that are like, oh, women wear tiaras, um, children wear tiaras. It's just really a fun thing. And that's just one of many, many, many things that I'll buy. Bracelets. Uh -huh. Do you have bracelets on? I thought I saw you have bracelets on. Did you? Uh, I have them. Oh, no. I mean, I, I've got. <laughs> it must have been somebody else that I was on a session with. Yeah, earrings on. on. I can't even see them, but. Yeah, uh, but no, I can't. Cute. But that's it. Buy these Earring. online. That's right. That's right. Earrings, bracelets. I can't even tell you. Oh my gosh. Actually, I have right here. I have a box. Those are all bracelets um, <laughs> that I have bought online. <laughs> That's how many bracelets I have and I have none on either. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to say one more thing about WordPress, just in case anybody's like, I don't really know what that is. Um, I recently did research on that again, because I'm constantly making sure, you know, what is the best website for a small business to use that will that is inexpensive, efficient, uh, will rank well in Google and can grow with a business. And WordPress is still that still that program, and it's still eighty percent of new websites that come online are WordPress sites for all of those reasons and more that I just named. And WooCommerce that can work easily with us with it. I agree with you, Eva. I just think that's a brilliant way to go. And it's so inexpensive compared to, yeah. you can literally spend $10,000 having a fancy company put together a big old fancy website, um, or you can spend a fraction of that uh, working with somebody like Eva. Definitely. So Eva, I want to go to the next level of your story because I love this part too, which is, what happened after COVID hit, your business is just getting ready to start taking off mm -hmm. and your husband comes home and tells you some bad news. Yeah. So I was literally on a, a Zoom call and he walked in my door and I could tell by his face something happened. And, and I'm like, what? And he said, I just lost my job. So needless to say, I really wanted to hang up. <laughs> and go cry. But I finished my call. 
Um, and and while I'm while I'm on this call, I'm literally making a list of things that we're going to do. You know, it's April in Missouri. We're not going to run the AC. You know, we're not going to open the pool. Uh, we're going to eat ramen noodles. Uh, you know, everything. And um, I had a list. And um, of course, he tried to find a job. And there was just there's it's a small industry that he's in here in this area. Everybody knows him. He's good at what he does. Um, he ran into ageism. You know, we know that. Um, yeah. They'll hire two guys younger than him at half his, his salary. That's um, right. And it just, it, it was, it was horrible. It was horrible to watch him go through this. Um, yes. So, so as I'm thinking of all these things that, um, that we're going to cut out of our life, um, which you refer to as um, scarcity. I scarcity totally went, mindset totally yep. went into scarcity mindset, and I should have just named my list scarcity. Um, and I, I woke up <laughs> in the middle of the night, and, and I, it was like, "What am I doing, Eva?" You know, and I, I literally said to myself, "Eva, you are you are not scarcity. You are abundance. You know what to do." And um, and I did it. And I had ended up with the highest income month in April that I had ever had um, mm -hmm. and um, committed to um, additional training, an investment in training that I knew that my business needed. Um, and just I haven't looked back, you know, and it just it really changed my mindset of knowing that I can do what I need to do. And that's all because of this program. You know, I got to tell oh, you, you, thank know you. It, it absolutely it, it's. It's also because of you, because you put in, anybody can go through a program, but not actually implement it. You implement, you, you do taught the me work. what to do and I did it. Yes. And so That's now right. you did it. Now my husband works for me. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I have, I have a, a subcontractor and he's in the basement, you know, helping build websites and uh, we're loving it. We, we just love, we love working together. We're, you know, we're, we're keeping our head above water and, you know, we're not, we're not just surviving, you know, we're working on thriving and um, it's, uh, it's been a blessing, I think, in disguise, you know, what, what turned out to be a, oh my God, what are we going to do turned into, I love this. So um, yeah. yeah, so it's been, it's been really fun. Yeah. And uh, so Joe helps you build websites and helps with tech stuff. Mm -hmm. And he also has something that he does. If anybody's interested, are you, are you still bringing in new clients to do uh, computer maintenance? Absolutely. So, yeah. So can you talk um, a little bit about that? Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, we have what we call a, a line that we call your healthy PC. And, um, you know, you don't realize all the creepy crawlies that are in the back end of a computer. And you, you, you there, those times when you're sitting there going, come on, it's taken forever, uh, you know, and just starts getting glitchy and things just start not working right. Um, so what he does is he goes in through TeamViewer and clears all that out, cleans up all the, the you know, the back end creepy stuff that, that doesn't need to be there that's slowing your computer down. Um, and it really does make a difference. In, in the um, how, how fast your computer runs and, um, you know, just the um, whether or not you get a blue screen of death. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's always fun. Isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, so your healthy PC. So, you, you know, how how healthy there's my cat. Hey, oh, um, look who made an appearance. I knew she would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, you got to you got to kind of ask yourself when was the last time, you know, you took care of all that. The. Um, um, the scanning and things like the that, maintenance, the, the maintenance, the maintenance your, on your computer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause you because I, I can tell, do it. yeah, I can tell everybody, uh, from experience that it is much, and you will be shocked at how inexpensive it is to have Joe as your monthly computer maintenance person who just goes in virtually and does the work. Um, at a scheduled time that you guys agree on, it won't interrupt your work time. But the amount of time that it has saved me by having somebody do that monthly, where my computer doesn't have any viruses, it, <laughs> it doesn't have the slowdowns, I don't get the blue screen of death. And let me tell you, my computer is like seven years old now. 
and my computer lasts longer, um, which I love all of that. Uh, I, I will not ever be without somebody to do that. And it always, I mean, why would you possibly ever take your computer in any place anymore when somebody can like Joe can just go through it virtually and do all of that work for you. And it's incredibly inexpensive. So I, if you can't tell, I hired Joe to do this for me. Once, once he started this business, I had somebody else doing it for me. Somebody I'm in Missouri and I had somebody in Canada doing it for me before Joe started doing it. Um, so it doesn't matter where you live. You can live, you can live in Dubai. And I think of that because our colleague Julie's in Dubai right now. You can live in Dubai and Joe can clean your computer for you. Um, or you can live an hour away like I do and he can com- clean your computer for you. But um, I highly recommend it. If you don't already have somebody doing that, contact Eva and Joe. And how do they contact you for that, Eva? Yourhealthypc.com. Or your email. healthy PC.com. Yeah. Or e- email and, info at yeah, info at your healthy PC.com. Okay. Info at your healthy PC.com. And we're, we'll put all of those links in the show notes. Um, I wish Joe was there today in a way so he could say hi, but I, I didn't even ask you to do that. So <laughs> he's all, he's also a mobile um, notary and he's out on a, uh, doing a, um, a oh. mobile, so yeah. So okay, so, uh, good to know. He's in two hours. <laughs> he can do mobile not- notary for you. So yeah, we're 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 working awesome. it. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And if you can't tell, uh, Eva is just a bright light to everyone, and her husband Joe is the same way. They are they are just amazing, amazing human beings and business owners. And I am so proud to have Eva as part of my, my business team. Um, Eva is a coach in our program. She is what we call a breakthrough specialist uh, in our group, which is, she does, um, she talks with people who are thinking about joining the program to answer their questions and help them overcome their fear. She, let's see, what else do you do for me? You do, and you're (laughs) always willing to just step up and do whatever. When I start my own line of tiaras and PJs, I'm going to have you set up my e-commerce. Don't you you think I should do that? Oh oh my God. I just, I've never thought about that before. And now I'm like, why don't I already have that? I totally need to do that. We're going to work on that. Okay. (laughs) I'm telling you. We, I told, why have I not already done that? Oh my gosh. I totally should. It could be a um, whole new line of, of business attire. Like this is my ooh, business. business in air quotes. I love it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yes. Yes. You know, did you see um, Jody Foster and her wife and the Academy Awards? They wore pajamas. No, it wasn't I, I, Academy Awards. It was Golden Globes. Yeah. Golden Globes. They wore pajamas and they, and Jody Foster won and they were there in their pajamas. And I was like, the, it, the whole trend we could get jody to be our our uh, model yeah. our spokesperson that's right our uh-huh. spokesperson okay i'm gonna have to talk with you about that offline because <laughs> you can tell i'm already excited about that idea we're gonna have to do this yeah, and, that's, and i'm hiring you to do my I e-commerce love i love it <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think about that before duh oh, yeah, we, uh, i'm not making my own tiaras so i'm gonna tell you right now Oh no, have a, have a jammy top that looks like a nice top, but it's really jammies and then just yes. jammy at the bottom. Oh that, yeah. I'm, yes. I got my mind going. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, you know what? I could, that could be my next million dollar business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because easy. everybody wants to wear stuff like that now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So what have we not covered that you and Joe do? for people have we covered everything or is there anything we've forgotten about Um, no I think we've covered everything um you know I've I've got you know I work with a team that you know pretty much anything that a business owner needs you know from from email management to client onboarding to you know customer service to marketing um you know we've got a team copywriting copywriting sure absolutely okay cool so yeah. really you're a one-stop shop, whatever somebody yeah, yeah. needs and, and it's anything and it's, that they can think of that they need. Yeah. And Eva has a team mm-hmm. and you have a team of specialists. Absolutely. So no matter what is needed, you can pull, you can uh, have that person on your team, do that work. And 
you work as an independent contractor, freelancer, whatever you want to call that for people, which means you're not an employee. So they don't have that overhead, right? Mm -hmm. You are a business owner and you work business to business. Yeah, exactly. So contact me. Let's talk. Let's have a coffee chat. (laughs) Yeah. And if you're just thinking, Hey, you know what? I don't even know for sure what I need. You can help them identify what they need. Say, say that again. Um, did we have a little internet issue there? Uh (laughs) Sorry about that. Um, it's five o'clock and the internet starts people, people start watching whatever they watch at five o'clock and our internet slows down. (laughs) Um, (laughs) okay. So what was I talking about? (laughs) I don't know. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. Um, if you don't even know what you need, because I know there are a lot of business owners who are like, okay, all those words you said, WordPress, WooCommerce, all those other things. I don't know what any of those are. It doesn't matter. Just if you want help growing your business, contact Eva. She will have a free discovery call with you. She will help you identify what it is you need and give you a proposal based on what your goals are. Right, Eva? Am I saying that correctly? Exactly. You know, you, you, you got into business to do X, Y, Z, you know, but unfortunately as a business owner, you've got to do A, B, C, D, E, uh, and on, on down the line in your business. And, and those are the things that you don't want to, to focus on. But you have to some, you know, a lot of this stuff you just have to do for your business. You know, that's where we come in as we take those things off your plate so that you can focus on X, Y, Z, focus on those profit, you know, generating tasks, focus on your clients, focus on your, you know, your students, whatever it is that, you know, that you're doing as a business. Um, yeah. And just, you know, just know that we've got a team of experts that can help do anything that you need to do. So, you know, don't struggle. Why struggle? Right. Right. And, and why learn stuff you don't want to learn, don't need to learn that isn't in your area of expertise, hire somebody whose area of expertise it is. Exactly. And if you cannot tell, I already, as, as I've already said, I already work with Eva and Joe. So my personal testimonial, my professional testimonial is they're amazing. And I can't imagine building my business without you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And now we're going to have a whole new line. <laughs> Super excited about that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, Eva, um, anything that you want to share that we haven't already talked about in your wrap up? You got a quote you want to share or a piece of advice for anybody thinking about, you know, I've kind of always wanted to have an e-commerce site, but Um, I'm scared. Yeah. Aren't we all scared? You know, um, be the zebra, you know, jump through the fire and do it anyway. Um, you don't have to be scared to have a conversation with me. I don't buy. And even if I did, I couldn't because, you know, we're social distancing. So. Yeah. Virtual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, just ask questions, you know, give a call, give it, you know, give an email and yeah. we'll see what we can do for you. And if it, you know, if it doesn't fit your needs, that's okay too. Yeah. You no, know, nobody's, nobody's out anything, but, you know, maybe 30 minutes of a conversation. So, um, That's right. yeah, I'm, I'm always looking to help and, um, want, want these companies to, to survive, not, not only survive, but to thrive during this, yeah. this time. And, yeah. um, and that's, yeah. that's the for the rest thing. of the time, because there's lots yeah. and lots of time coming up when people can make a lot of money because yeah. we're all wanting to buy stuff. We've been deprived of the opportunity to buy yeah. things. We're, yeah. And we, I don't know about you. Well, how are you feeling? Like you haven't had your shopping therapy in person for a while. So have you been shopping online, Eva? Uh, I have. I absolutely have. Yeah. 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 Me too. And I want to cool. go do more of it from talking about it with you. <laughs> so, all right. So tell them one more time, uh, email and uh, website where they can contact you. Okay. Eva, E-V-A at more profit.com. And um, website is moretimetoprofit.com or www.moretimetoprofit.com. <laughs> um, yourhealthypc.com will take you to that page as well. Um, yeah. And, and I'm on LinkedIn as well. Eva Harster. I know I'm, 
I'm the team diva. Uh, <laughs> but I'm team only the diva. Diva. Yeah. Team diva. Eva um, the diva. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it, it rhymes. It's just too cute. I can't help it. I love it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, uh, I look forward to, you know, to hearing from folks and um, thank you so much for having me on here. It was really fun. It's always fun chatting. With yeah. You. Thank you for Thank you for being on here. I really appreciate it. And the world needs more Eva the Diva. So oh, I'm so you. glad we finally, you I've know, been wanting you, I've been wanting you on my podcast for a long time. So thank I, you for finally being on. I appreciate on. that. I really do. I really do. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to helping people grow and growing with them. So contact me. And um, again, thank you, Kathy. It's been really fun as usual talking and um, yeah. everybody stay safe yeah. and time for a beer. Forward. Yeah, it is definitely time for, for a cold time beer. for a beer. Yeah, it's it's five past o'clock. five o'clock here. I yeah, that's right. It's past five o'clock here. So. I've got a clock that's broken that's set on five, so it's always five o'clock. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to Dare to Leap. Say hello and access additional resources at virtualexperttraining.com. There, you'll be able to connect with Kathy to share her feedback and join her community. Join us again soon on Dare to Leap. Until then. (laughs) 